The Nuna Exec is an all-in-one car seat from one of our favorite brands, Nuna. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a full review of the Nuna Exec and try to help you figure out whether that this is the right car seat for you. It starts at birth, it goes up to 120 pounds. It's pretty amazing, pretty unique features, and you're gonna see it all in this video. If you have any questions about the Nuna Exec, Nuna Exec or any other car seat, you can email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com. Book a free virtual consultation and we'll show you the exec and all the other car seats via Zoom. You can give us a call or you can just leave a comment below. So here is the Nuna exec. Here is the Nuna exec. It is Nuna's all-in-one car seat. You can start using this at five pounds and use it all the way up to 120 pounds into booster seat mode. Um, the all-in-one car seat concept is extremely popular in America at right, right now, but Nuna really enhanced it to an amazing level. This is a really, really phenomenal car seat. It's really like very first class feeling. There is, it feels like there's extra leg room. It's just a really comfortable seat. And so you may want to use this in that all in one variety because you're going to get like that up to 120 pounds, but it's just a really, really nice car seat. And it may be something you just want to consider as well, so here is the review. So like I said, you can start using this as at five pounds. It can technically do that, you're probably gonna use an infant car seat. You probably already have an infant car seat, but if you are a family that doesn't like have a car and just wants to have one car seat to last you, the exec could be a really great option. You also might be a family where one child, your first child's, transitioning out of their convertible car seat. Maybe you have a Nuna Rava and you need to give that Rava as a hand-me-down to a next baby and you're looking for another option that's really gonna last. Again, the exec is a great option. So similar to the Nuna Rava and all the all other car seats by Nuna, um, it's flame retardant free. So they don't add any uh, chemical flame, flame retardants to make this, um, make this safe to in a fire. That's right. Yeah, in a fire, yep, that's great. Anyway, but um, it is flame retardant free and also is Green Guard certified. So it's really like, in terms of eco-ness, really, really good. They also have that Aeroflex in the side impact protection. That is that same really safe um, EPP foam that they put in their Nuna Pippa Light which is sort of the highest level of shock absorption, which is another great safety feature. So um, in the rear facing position, again, they have a very similar to the Nuna Rava. Oh, if you haven't seen my review of the Nuna Rava, you should check this out at in, you should check that video out after this video and I'll put a link above and below so that you can see that video if you wanna watch that now, but very similar to that car seat, it has this really, really easy recline mechanism. So let me show you how to put in this car seat. I'm gonna say put it, not install. This is not an installation video, but let me just show you how this car seat functions. Like I said, one of the really cool features of this car seat is in the forward facing position. They have this, it feels like a, a recliner, like a, like a Barca lounger, and it's just comfortable for your baby to sort of have their, babe, their feet sort of elevated in the forward facing position. But the cool thing is in the rear facing position, you flip this up, all the way and it acts as number one extended leg room and also um, an anti-rebound like a anti-rebound plate it's not a bar it's like a more of a plate but it's going to slow down or it's going to stop the rebounding action of a car seat when you install rear facing so as you can see when you put it in this rear facing position that leg rest goes up against the back seat so it's now doubling as anti-rebound. That's pretty smart, right? I think it's pretty smart and it's really comfortable. You'll notice that in the interior of the seat, there are these doors. All right, to put in the car seat, you flip open that door and then what you do is you route the seatbelt through this, these little spaces underneath the cup holders. There are two cup holders that this comes with, so you can have your good old sippy cup in the car seat, so clip it in and then you close the tensioning plate and then you pull out the seatbelt to the very end, switch over the retractor and it's like very easy to install. So you can install it, a caregiver can install it. Um, I remember when I was installing my car seats, how 
challenging it was. You had to like climb into the car seat and you, it, it just, the technology back when I had car seats for my children was just not as advanced as they are right now. And so it's, it's really great that to know that a car seat like the exec is so easy to install. And if you're thinking about like, why are some car seats so much more expensive than other car seats, it really comes down to the quality of materials, the technology engineering, and the ease of installation. And it's really worth it because it's gonna keep your child safe. And that's what car seats are all about, right? Keeping them safe. So like I said, you could have this in the fully reclined position, put your five, four, five pound baby into the car seat. It comes with a like a really nice infant insert as well. But then when you're, but like I said, you're probably gonna be using this in the more the upper reaches of the car seat. So you'll have it in the forward facing position and you will, um, so you'll push down the button and now you can see it's in the forward facing position. Imagine the driver is here, okay? And then you can extend this up really, really high. Like I said, it goes up to 120 pounds. You, and you'll wanna have this be in booster seat mode. So there's three different color indicators on the car seat. Blue is rear facing, red is forward facing, but using the harness and purple is in that booster seat mode. So it's 25 to 65 pounds, 25 to 65 pounds with the harness, 40 to 120 pounds in the booster seat mode. And so there is, so you don't use the harness in the booster seat mode, you're using the seatbelt. Again, a seatbelt is keeping you safe. Are you wearing your seatbelt? Parents, wear your seatbelt. I, I know this is like really, really obvious and it's the law, but it is super, super important that parents wear their seatbelt. And like I said, seatbelts keep their, the keep you installed and stopping from ejecting from a car. And it's also gonna keep this car seat really safe in there. And there is a, um, a little, um, a shoulder belt path that you would put the shoulder belt through and you would click it in just like a seatbelt. And then the, well, I can show you. Take the seatbelt. It sort of like flicks open. So it's like in there really securely. And then imagine there is a child in here. And yes, this is not hard. You just like seatbelt the child in. Now you may not understand what the point is of a booster seat. You may think that a booster seat is pointless. It is not pointless. Let me tell you why. Seat belts are designed for adults four foot nine and taller. So if you're four foot nine and shorter, the seat belt does not fall on your body in a safe way. So you may be throwing in your four year old or see some other friend or family member doing that and say like, booster seats, they're not really real. But that's not true. Again, seat belts are not gonna fall safely on the child's body. In particular, the, the lap belt goes against a child's belly. And if you're, God forbid, in a crash, it's going to like smush their intestines and all the soft organs that are in your belly. But when you're in a booster seat, just raising the child up a couple of inches, that lap belt goes across your hips, the bony parts of your body. So if you're in a crash, it is going to go across your bony hips versus your belly. And also that shoulder belt is gonna position it in the proper position. It's like I said, rear facing, forward facing, like rear facing as long as possible up to 50 pounds, great. Forward facing with a harness up to 65 pounds. And then when your child is mature enough, old enough, maybe around first, second grade-ish, depending on the family, depending on the child, you may be re ready to position your child to a seatbelt and then you'll use this in booster seat mode. There's also these extra side impact, side impact protection pods. And in that booster seat mode, not only are you gonna have your child in that safe position with a seatbelt, but you still get the benefit of the side, imp in side impact protection on the head and the shoulders and the hips. Awesome, right? This is a super, super nice car seat it's available to buy from us from Magic Beans with free shipping. And if you haven't checked out the rest of the channel, I would suggest that you watch another Magic Beans video right after this video. And don't forget to subscribe today. See you at the next video.